Hey everyone, Ali Reza here and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at mesh paint mode and see how we can blend materials using vertex paint. Here as you can see I am able to blend materials on this object here and by painting on my mesh I can define where I want to see my materials you can use this technique to add detail to your objects and you can also use this for multiple materials as well so let's jump right in and see how we can set this up first of all we need an object with a decent amount of polygons here I have made a cube in blender and I added loops to make it like this we need these vertices because we are going to paint on these vertices and if it's only a face without any faces inside it we cannot do the painting on it so you can do this in your 3d software of choice and then export an fbx file and then drag it into your content browser in Unreal. Now let's drag it into the scene, place it like this, and now we are good to go. You can't use one of these cubes here because as I mentioned before, there are not enough vertices on the object, so we cannot paint on it. All right, let's create a material, name it M underscore blend, and open it up. There are several approaches to blending materials, but I think the easiest is using material attributes. So select this here and here search for material attributes. Check this option here and now you can see that we can define the material attributes ourselves. So here I'm going to search for sets material attributes and add this node to my graph now here you can see that we are able to add different attributes here and this gives us the control to only work with the attributes that we want it also gives us the ability to blend two different sets of material attributes easily so here I want to work with base color, metallic and specular, but of course you can add other attributes as well and for example add normals, opacity or whatever you like. Here I can have roughness as well, so let's delete this anisotropy and work with these guys here. So for the base color, just hold T, left click to add a texture sample plug this in to the base color and for the metallic specular and roughness you can also use texture samples but in this case I am just uh, going to use a simple parameter so hit S left click and then name it metallic let's set it on 0.5 and then duplicate this by selecting it and hitting ctrl d this one goes to specular this is metallic and this is roughness also rename them so we can find them easily in our material instance later so this is specular and this is roughness For the texture, I'm going to go with Metal 1, which I added to my content browser before, but obviously you can use any texture you want. So this is actually material number 1. So let's select these, hit C to add a comment and name them Metal 1. I want to blend two metal materials, so I'm going to duplicate this. Put it here let's also drag it here so it covers 
the set material attributes as well. And here we need to rename these guys so they are not the same. First of all, we need to turn this into a parameter as well so we can access it in our material instance. So here, right click and convert to parameter. Name it M1, which means metal one, and then base color. I'm going to add M1 to these so they can be separated from these. They are going to be M2, meaning metal two, and these are going to be M1. So M1 metallic M1 specular and M1 roughness. Next, these are going to be M2. So convert to parameter M2 base color. M2 M2 metallic M2 specular and M2 roughness let's select these as well hit C and name this metal 2 also change the texture here to another texture and in this case I'm going with metal 2 now we need to blend these two material attributes together so here I'm going to search for blend material attributes and connect this to A and this to B this alpha value defines how much of material A and how much of material B can be seen. So for example, if we set it on one, we'll only see metal two. And if we set it on zero, we'll see only metal one. And if it's on 0.5, you can see that we have this blend here but this is not we are aiming for we want to be able to paint the alpha on our object so let's delete this scalar and instead add a vertex color node plug the rgb to alpha and now using this we are able to paint on our object so before that let's just save our material and then create an instance from this so right click create material instance name it mi underscore blend and assign it to the object you can also play with the uv textures if you want so just here add texture coordinates and then using this you're able to play with your uvs so here we can just hold m and multiply this by a value so here it is left click and name it m1 tiling and multiply this by this and plug it in the default value should be one and now we are able to play with this in our material instance we should do the same for the other material as well. So select these, control D to duplicate, plug this in and change the name to M2 tiling. Now let's save and here open up our material instance, which is assigned to this and then you can have access to all the parameters that you defined in your master material so m2 tiling and then if you set it on 2 you can see that you can control the tiling as well before we jump into painting i want to make these a little bit cleaner they are 
a little hard to understand and they are not in order so in order to do that we can create groups for our parameters so here select these for example and here create a group and name them metal one also add this to metal one let's rename the group and name it properly metal one and add these as well to metal one and next add these to metal two this also should be in metal two and now you can see that in your material instance you have this tabs which helps you to have a more cleaner material instance properties all right now let's see how we can enable painting on the object all you need to do is to go to your mesh paint select the object go to the paint mode and paint on your object so if it doesn't work it means that you need to switch the color of your mask so here hit this icon and then you can see that it's working you can also hit x on your keyboard to switch your paint color and this is how you can get the job done you can also use this color view mode so here set it on rgb channel and here you can see the mask that you are painting you can play with the size of the brush the strength and also the fall off And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.